yes, I'm going to be rehashing uh, Wi-Fi Analyzer. Uh, this is an awesome tool to use uh, if you have a Wi-Fi network or if you plan on joining a Wi-Fi network. Or if, or if you want to help somebody find out the best location to put the router so it yeah. doesn't interfere with other routers. For sure. Or like what I was doing um, earlier this week, I, I had my iPhone and I had an iPod Touch and I was going to be streaming an event and they don't they removed all of those apps from the iPhone store. They took all the Wi-Fi analyzer apps off the store. Nice. Because it uses some improper API. Because oh. Apple no likey. Yeah, and then I <laughs> I uh, ended up having to go to Android to do the Wi-Fi analyzer so I could find the best place to try and find Wi-Fi. And it let me know, you don't have any Wi-Fi here. So what I did was I just enabled Wi-Fi sharing on that thing. And it solved. I couldn't have done it without it. It was awesome. Yeah. So cool. Android solving all of Apple's problems, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so Wi-Fi all the problems you have with Apple, anyway. Uh, so this ah, is so cool. This is like the the screen that you'll see when you first launch it up, and basically the taller these humps are, uh, the stronger the signal is. Yes. And the I guess the the uh, see this is why yeah I have a tech tip just based on what just happened, yeah, but yeah. so like. If one of these is your router or the one you want to connect to, this is really handy because you can walk around your house and these signals change as you enter in different rooms. So say you've got some old, uh, you know, I don't know, an old house that maybe has some lead paint in it and you're not sure like why, you know, you didn't know about that, <laughs> but you're like, why am I not getting coverage up in this room? Well, guess what? You're in like a giant Faraday cage because, you know, somebody back in 1920 Decided to repaint the house. I think that's my house. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you'll see, one of the other things that I I find, too, when I'm helping people set up their Wi-Fi or if they say they have problems with it is what we're seeing down here. Uh, there's this one little network that has very little coverage, uh, uh, but it's on the same channel as this one right that? here. Uh, so, basically, if you're looking to set up a new router, your best bet is to try and find a channel that isn't being occupied by somebody else's router. And I did uh, that. Yeah. Which, you know, what and are you going to do? Added, this is one of those uh, I need nuisance to, public ones. I need to sneak in their house and move it. Well, that's oh. not that. Isn't this, uh, I thought this was like a public uh, router thing oh, that it they might had. Be. It's one of the two wire ones, which, whatever. Right, so, fine, I'll move mine. But I, I did this at, uh, at my mom's house uh, because they were having a problem. Their neighbor had set up a Wi Fi router after they set theirs up. Yep. And then it started causing problems. And they're like, I don't know what's going on with the Wi-Fi. I kicked this on. It was like walking around the house with a tricorder, you know, yes. like scanning and stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah, here's your problem. Get some uh, Wi-Fi channel interference. <sighs> Absolutely. This will take me a couple hours to fix. But uh... <laughs> we, we also use this at, like, uh, at our university to find out where we can put more Wi-Fi hotspots. Nice. So, like, if there's problems. Um, but it has there's... a couple other views. Like, it'll... It'll show you a time graph, uh, which, as you know, as you walk around, like the, the signal going up or down or whatever, uh, which this, I don't know, there's there's different different uh, reasons that it would be uh, pretty cool, you know, to have access to that stuff. Oh, yeah. but, and here's another one, too, uh, that just gives you a, a quick glance of uh, oh. what channels are best to be using. See, I'm moving it to one. Yeah, all those were kind of clumped up down there, in, yeah. or right here in the middle. Um, but the outside channels in this area uh, seem to be pretty good. Huh. Um, and depending, again, on wherever your location is, uh, this will look different. Um, but this this app is just really powerful. I figured it was uh, it was worth uh, going back over. Yeah. Uh, totally. For our, for our app rehash, so that's Wi-Fi Analyzer. It is free in the market. Uh, just search for it. Two words. Uh, wait, this one uh, that we just reviewed is version two point four point eight. And again, at a paltry, let's see, some small apps today, 292 kilobytes. Yeah. So, and if you want to go back and watch our original review of it, it was uh, back in March of 2010, episode uh -huh. 10. Cool. I like it a lot. It is one of those, I don't know what I did without it before. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the days where you would walk around with a laptop, like trying to find Wi-Fi or something. Yeah, or like trying to find an app or something that would that could easily scan channels and give you a representation like that. Like those graphs are just 
I mean, it makes sense. It really makes sense when you look yeah. at it. It's awesome. So, yeah.